You're listening to the Chronicles of Living Podcast, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. Now let's talk. Greetings, 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 my visionary dreamers. How is everyone this awesome Sunday? And I know it's a little echo coming. I'm really uh, recording today from my conference room. Uh, Had to do some work, had a client today. So just trying to tidy up some things. You know how it could be sometimes. So I decided to come to you live from my office space. And, um... I had a lot on my mind this week, and I had a great weekend. I really did. It, it was like, it was really good, but then um, I did have a, a little something that bothered me over the weekend, and I was going to talk about it today, but I said, mm, I'm a little too raw with it, like, you know, with the whole feeling of it and trying to wrap my head around it. So I decided that I'm definitely going to talk about it, but I, I, I just got to fill it out. I like to talk about things when I, when I like fill it out. So to anyone that's just tuning in, this is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from the world, saving you from yourself, saving you from the gossip, saving you from judgment, saving you from everything that li- that life causes to make you unsure of yourself. That how can I say that you know everything that you do in life that will cause you to be unsure of yourself that, that will cause you to be afraid of living out your dreams and your visions, anything that's keeping you from your full potential. That's what I'm here for. And also, this podcast is for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. I keeps it all the way real. I'm transparent with my stuff so that you can learn to be transparent with your stuff. Not to everybody, but to the right people at the right time, you know, so that you can heal so that you can start identifying the things in your life that is not allowing you to grow. That is what this podcast is all about. You know, I could have chose to do something that is based on talking about celebrities or shows or, I don't know, get real pro, pro black on you or, or whatever like that. Um, but I decided that us normal folk, And when I say normal folk, I mean us rising superstars because we are all stars in our own right. We just got to learn how to shine our light, light, you know, Um, just think it's just some just normal, normal conversation, normal things. You know, everybody has situations. Everybody has issues, whether good or bad, you know, but things that they need to work out to get better, you know. And this podcast is brought to you by doTERRA Essential Oils. Y'all know I'm all about the natural. I partnered up with them. So I need y'all to go check out mydoTERRA.com slash nature's healings. Whenever y'all get a chance, you can cook with the oils. You can, you know, grow your hair back, get your skin together, get your health together. Just, you know... Check it out. Check it out. MyDoTerra.com slash Nature's Healings. And then it's also brought to you by another partner of mine, and that is AleisureLife.com slash Lifestyle Savings. And what that is, is if you're planning on a trip, you need a rental car, you want to go on a cruise, you want to go camping, anything that you want to do, this is the this is the company that get you those warehouse discounts. Now I didn't just say discounts; I said warehouse discounts. Now y'all know when you go to the warehouse, you come up. So you want to go check out aleisurelife.com lifestyle savings, 
And you can always go to the Chronicles of Living, go to chroniclesofliving.com without the G, and you can hit both of them up from my blog, okay? So without further ado, let's get on with the show today. And like I said, today was kind of funny because I was like, I really was going to go for this other topic, but at the last minute, I'm going to turn this down a little bit, it's going red, but at the last minute, I decided to switch it because I just... I just need some more time to dissect this whole thing over the weekend, okay? So I'm going to go with everybody can't go. I did not get a chance to share this on social media today. I just got back in town. Um, Long weekend, but a good weekend. Had some time to chill with my girl, Tanya Tan. Shout out. Um, We had some good talks, and, and I'm going to definitely have a little conversation session one day with her and some of my other friends. Just just regular conversation, you know, because we all regular folk. So, yeah, everybody can't go. Now, you might be saying, okay, so, A.D.I., what's up with that? Okay. Everybody can't go with you when you growing, when you, you know, working at your goals and your dreams and your visions and, you know, you trying to create the next best invention. You can't. Everybody can't go, you know. Sometimes your best friend can hold you back, you know. Sometimes a family member can hold you back. And I'm not just saying a family member or a friend or whatever, or even a spouse sometimes can hold you back. You have to make up in your mind that this is your dream, this is your vision. You definitely want to attempt to share and see who wants to support it, but At the point that you realize that they're not really on board with it, I talked about it before. Sometimes your closest family, friends, or whatever, they're just not on board. They're just not feeling your dreams and your visions. And that is not for you to get upset about, to start, you know, to just break up a friendship or relationship about. Some people just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? And you can't make them get it. Because that's wasted energy that you could be putting into your project, you know? So when I'm saying everybody can't go, some people can really block your blessings. Like you can have an opportunity on a table and then because of loyalty, and loyalty gets a, a lot of people messed up. I know from experience, you know, I'm such a loyal person, you know, when I'm, I'm a ride or die. For real, I am a, anybody that knows me will tell you I am a ride or die chick, you know, like Eve used to say. <laughs> but I have learned, I have learned, it took me a long time, but I have learned that everybody can't go, hey, Dion, you slowing yourself down, you're growing at a certain rate, and they just can't keep up. And that is no shade on nobody, y'all know I don't do the shade, but I just show you the other side of the fence, you know? There have been plenty of opportunities that came my way, but because of my loyalty and I wanted other people to be involved, um, that I thought was my friends in some cases, um, it messed up the whole situation. So y'all know I'm going to tell y'all a little story, story time. So example, years ago when I was in the music business and you, you know, I talk about this because I got a lot of stories to tell. Okay. I, um, there was two okay occasions that I can recall right now in the front of my head. One was about this investor that came across my music. He wanted to, you know, put some money into my project and, you know, get it out there independent. And this is before I even started my own record label. But, oh, I hope y'all hear my stomach growling. <laughs> I just ate. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> But anyway, he um he wanted to put some money behind me. He was just he was he's ready to just do everything, tour everything. And um, but he wanted me to work with his producer. And I had a producer and we had been longtime friends. And so, you know, I was like, Well, no, you know, why can't you work with my producer? Okay, so I negotiated everything with him and I'm like, Okay, it was gonna be a single, and if you know 
this isn't a record days where the vinyl is coming back. It's coming back. And it is the best sound. But this is back in the real vinyl days. And there's an A side and a B side. So I said, okay, how about your producer do the A side since you're paying for everything. And then my producer will do a song for the B side. So we worked that out. He's like, okay, yeah, I could work with that. Bam. Go to my producer, introduce him, put him down. And this is somebody that when I say we was roadies, we was, that was like my brother, you know. And don't get me wrong, I got love for him now. You know, it's squashed, it's over. But nevertheless, I'm here to be transparent and share stories. So therefore, whoever comes across the podcast and I am talking about the situation, I don't never say names, they'll know. But I mean, you just got to eat it, eat that because you did it. So I'm just making other people aware of a situation that they shouldn't get they court they self court into. So let me go on with the story. Anyway, so everything was good. I'm thinking everything's good. No, meanwhile, I'm helping him work on this younger group, um, this male female group, and trying to help you know help the female to really uh, cultivate her her rhyming skills and writing skills and. The guy, he already was on point. And um, so, long story short, the producer decided that he wanted to go behind my back and start cutting deals with this guy. Remember, I introduced him. He didn't even know him, and he I could have just rolled with his producer, and that would have been that. But behind my back, he's working out deals. He's uh, selling the guy beats. I, I don't have problem with that because I couldn't make no beats, but... You know, he's doing that. But this was the kicker. He <laughs> tried to negotiate a whole new deal with my investor that I introduced to him that I could have just left him out of the whole deal and went with the investor's producer. He went and said, you know, how about you just invest in this group that I have because they're younger, which I was young at the time, but still they were younger than me. They were like, you know just preteens or whatever, just a little bit over the teenage age, or maybe 14 or something like that. And um, so he was like, you know, there's no guy and girl group out and, you know, it would be better. And why don't you let them have the A side of the, of the record and let um, Adion have the B side? How you going to just negotiate me out the whole deal? Like, and just, I couldn't believe it. And I didn't even know about this until he already made money off of, you know, different tracks and, and all of this stuff. And he never told me nothing. This was something. And I was rolling with this guy every day. OK, but this is what I'm saying about everybody can't go because sometimes money, greed will override a friendship real quick if people don't have their morals in order. It's a lot of people in the music business that don't have their morals in order, that they they just like, listen, I'm trying to eat, I'm trying to get out the hood, whatever, you know, and whatever it takes, oh, they'll understand. So I found out, you know, me and the investor, we had a meeting and, and um, you know, we talked about it and he basically told me like, listen, you, <laughs> you, your boy is um, trying to talk me out of putting you on A side and put the group... I was like, what? He was like, and I'm just coming to you because that's your boy. You brought him in to the deal. And I thought it was only right that I conversate with you about this. So I'm like, okay. So I confronted my so-called friend, the producer. And um, guess what he told me? Oh, it was, it's only business. It's only business. I don't know why you mad. It's only business. You still was going to get, uh, you still was going to be on the record. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, how we go from it's only business to, how about I could have came to you and said it's only business when I was, when I went with his producer and you would have heard the record playing on the radio after the fact. I could have did that. But again, loyalty, this is what I mean about loyalty. And I should have looked up the definition of loyalty. I forgot, y'all. I, I fell off with that. I said I was going to start putting the definitions out there for some words or whatever. I don't have time to be Googling nothing right now while I'm recording. Anyway, look it up for yourself. Y'all know what I'm talking So, yeah, that's that was, it was an emotional thing. Like, 
I've always been a person, you know, pretty much I'm a kind hearted person, but I'm, I'm, I'm real, you know, my, my skin is tough. You know what I'm saying? I can deal with stuff and I could just, I would just walk away. I just leave it alone. Once I found out, once he said that to me, it's only business. That's on. I'm a person like this. We could be friends for years, but if you make one statement to me that sounds to me any type of disrespect or any type of way that, you know, is saying to me that you don't value me or respect me as much as I respect and value you, either I'm going or either I'm pulling back. It's going to be one or the other, depending on just how, as we say, jail we are, just how, um, rather it's family, friend, whatever. I'm going to do either one. But I, I am a person that know how to just cut people off completely. And everybody, my mom used to be like, Dad, you ain't talk to... Listen, I don't have time because I'm like this. I know how loyal I am to people. I know that anything that I've ever been involved in, any dream, any vision that I had, and I got plenty of people that contest to this, um, con- contest to this, I'm always ready to bring people along with me and get paid. Like, yo, this blow up, we all paid, you know? I'm nev- I never... Um, I'm never stingy with it, you know? I just want to spread the love. I want everybody to do good. And so for you people out there that has a, a heart of gold like mine's, I'm here to tell you today, everybody cannot go. You got people sometimes that's opportunists that just roll with you and just, you know, go with you because of the people that they know you know. And then they go cut some side deal and try to get their contact and stuff like that. I've had it happen to me on so many occasions, so many occasions. A lot of times I just give people the contact because I'm like, you know, I'm not going to hold you back from um, making it or whatever like that. But sometimes the people that you think is a ride or die with you is the people that envy you, is the people that's jealous of you. It's the people that's just riding with you and want you in, in, in undercoverly, if I could say it that way, y'all know I make up words, y'all know this. <laughs> undercoverly, that's my new word for the day. They, wanna, they want you to fail because they might not have the talent or gift or maybe they didn't discover their talent or gift and they are so jealous of you that they want to see you fail fail instead of make it but they want to but they wear this poker face and this fake you know this fake whole costume around you but yet behind your back they secretly don't want you to make it that my ex-husband was like that he didn't want to see me make it you know what I'm saying and if I would have still sometimes I look back at some of the things that um some of the dreams that I went after some of the goals and things that I went after and I look back at some of it now and I, and I think about the people that's involved and the people that if it would have went to a certain level, to a higher level than it did, it would have been a problem. I look at some of the people and I'm like, wow, they turned out to be a greedy person or they turned out to be just, just not a, just not a person that would be a good look with, you know, with being in my camp. So sometimes you can have people that you grew up with and you like, you trying to bring them along. And as y'all were growing, they decided to run with one crowd. You decided to run another way, but yet you still trying to hold on to this friendship and you got a big deal in front of you, a big opportunity in front of you. And you like, you want to save your friend. You want to save them from the, from the hood or from whatever the streets or whatever. And you want to save them because you got love for them. And then they can mess up your whole situation, your whole opportunity, because the person that's trying to offer it to you can see them and know that, excuse me, y'all, y'all know I just say, like I say, I'm sorry. (laughs) And know that they just got trouble written all over their face. So even though they know that you're a talented person or you have a lot to offer, they will just discard 
the whole opportunity because you won't let the person that you want to bring along go because of loyalty, you know? And it's like, you know, just the bad habits, you know, somebody can come around you that just have bad habits that, that don't know how to talk right or just the way they dress is just not appropriate, you know, things of that nature. So you really got to pick and choose when you go after opportunities, when you go after your dreams, you have to be real with yourself. You really do. I mean, listen, everybody can't go. And, and if a person or, or people truly love you and you can sit down with them and say, listen, I love you, but this is, this is my, this is my journey right here. This is my journey. Now understand this. I love you. When I get the journey where it needs to go, I'm going to reach back and I'm going to look out for you in some way. Maybe I can help you with your dream. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you, you can tell the person you can help them with their dream after the fact or whatever, or support them for their dream. But you just got to know that you need to put the energy into your dream. You got to focus into your dream and your vision first. Because as I say, we are individuals and we, we got to walk our own path. We got to walk our own journey. You know, we was born by ourselves. We're going to die by ourselves. So you, you, at the end of the day, you need to have something to show for the time, the space you took up in this time, space, reality. Why you're here. You got to, you got to have something to show because you get old. You don't want to be that person, that old person sitting in the chair. Oh, I wish I would have did this and I wish I would have. And, and then um, Jojo, your, your best friend that you was trying to be loyal to, you know, they didn't came up some other way because you was trying to bring them along. And then they got another opportunity and forgot all about you. It happens. You being loyal to one person and then they come up and then they don't even look back. Trust me. I've been there so many times. I look up and like, Oh, wow. Okay. Ain't even call. okay. It's like that. All right. So yeah, I just, I'm just now. That's why I decided when if you following this podcast, then you know. Um, from the beginning, I talked about how when I started this journey, I started off. It was three months ago now. I think it was in June, sometime in June. I decided, well, I had made the Facebook page up. My, my um, Adrian Facebook page has been made up since, I think, 2014, but I just wasn't active. But I decided to come on and do a challenge and challenge myself to go live for 30 days straight, no matter what. I did not tell my family, my friends about this Facebook page. I started it from scratch to meet new people because I feel like this is a new life for me. This is a new venture. It's a different type of venture. And I decided that I had to look at my past and I said, I will not repeat my past. I realized that everybody can't go. So I'm like, okay, this time I got to do this thing alone. I have to, you know, and then I can reach back. Like I said, sometimes you got to do it. You got to go it alone and then you can reach back after the fact. Once you have yourself on stable ground, once your passion, your dream and everything is where you at the level that you want it to be, then you could think about somebody else. You know what I mean? But understand when you think about that friend, that family member that you want to help out, you want to look out, you better know that they right. They the right fit. Cause just because they close to you don't mean that they the right fit. When I created my record label, I took time and I thought about all the people that I know. I wrote, I took time. I wrote out the person. I wrote out their personality. I wrote out what I believe they're capable of as far as I knew. You know what I'm saying? And I wrote out the things that the potential that I saw in that person. I made my list and then I called them all one by one and invited them to a meeting. And then we had the meeting told them about my vision with this record label, and then I put it in a lap. And that's how it went. And luckily, I would say maybe 95% of all the people that was involved in the record label was the best fit. Probably the other 5% was people that didn't belong, people that I know if we would have went forth um, and, and really, really blew up, you know, they would have been a problem. 
they would have been a problem. When I look back now, I'm like, that was God. Sometimes, understand this, sometimes you, you can have a big dream of vision. You could, your town, everything could be going great. I mean, our record label, for real, for real, we stopped at a high, for real. And this was without social media. But everything can be going great with your talent and your vision and the things that you're doing. And all of a sudden, it just comes to a halt out of nowhere. And you're like, what happened? Like, we were doing so good. Why? why what happened? You know what I'm saying? But if you analyze it and start thinking about all the people that was involved, sometimes God will save you and allow you the time to, you know what I mean, um, how, detox, <laughs> detox from some folk, <laughs> you know what I mean, before, and before you start again and allow you the opportunity to start over in a different way. And, and give you some time to get yourself together, your thoughts together, and be strong enough that you know how to let that person go or let them people go in some cases. You think about different celebrities. I say Allen Iverson. Let's, let's use him. He came to my mind. The man was so talented. So ta- He still is talented, but... He had such a bright future. And I'm not saying he don't have a bright future now, but I'm just saying. Anybody that know AI and follows AI, they know he was so in demand. So in demand. But I really truly believe the thing that messed him up was he wanted everybody to go. He he didn't want to leave the neighborhood back. You know what I mean? He didn't want to leave his friends that he grew up with alone. And... I really believe that's what hurt his career because sometimes, you know, you got to go a different path and let yourself grow past what you already know. Let me say that again. Let yourself grow past what you already know. Some people want to stay right where they are in their growth because they won't want to leave their friends behind. So some people will, it's almost like you running a, a race uh, on track and you got to pass the baton and you know the person that's coming to you, they so slow. You you trying to go, but you you just, you got to like kind of tiptoe because you don't, you got to wait for them. You can't do that. We all have our own speed. We all have, you know, different paces that we grow and it's not you shouldn't feel ashamed of that you shouldn't feel bad that you get it and your friend don't maybe God has something else for them you know what I'm saying and maybe God is not allowing them to grow at that pace because that he want you to go he want you to go and he know that if he let them grow at the same pace it's going to hold you back it's going to you know mess up things so sometimes purposely, God will re- remove people out of your life and you'll look back and be like, dang, what happened to, you know, what happened to Tony? What happened to Kathy? Whatever. Like, I don't hear from them no more. It's not, don't get mad. It's for a reason. It is for a reason. If you've been following this podcast, then you know, I, I didn't shaved off a few folk. <laughs> Since um and and it's just so deep when I think about it, it was like it seemed like right when um people that I thought were my friends and um that I thought really had my back, but I think at this point now they had my back for their own agenda. You know what I'm saying? Um, it seemed like that's when it really kicked in for me to do this. It really kicked in. Look do this thing alone. It just, just, it was like this voice that said, this time do it alone, do it alone, do it alone. And everything that I have done has, I always call people on it. Like, yo, I got this idea and come on, why don't you get down with it? Come on, we can, we can make some money. Everybody know how I am. I, like I said, if you go listen to my intro. I was born an entrepreneur. I was born a dreamer and everything that I do, I always made money from it. There's a lot of things that I achieved. There's, some, there's a lot of things I felt that. There's a lot of things I had to alter to do it a different way. You know, I'm not mad at none of it because if if I didn't fail at some things, if I didn't, you know, allow my heart to just 
let go of some folk, I wouldn't be talking to y'all today. I am now, um, what, I think I'm 24, I think this is like my 24th podcast show. And I started this, if I remember, I think the intro is on the 18th of July, maybe? No, no. Might be later than that, maybe the 21st. It's really just a month. It's about a, a little bit over a month that I had this podcast going. And I am up to episode, I think it's 24 today. Okay? I've been consistent. But before this, I did the 30-day the challenge. That was by myself. I didn't tell nobody about it that I really knew. You know what I'm saying? I just went on. And I didn't care if it was one person watching or whatever. I just went on. I went on for me to prove to myself that I don't need a team. I do need a team, but I don't need a team to get started on my dream and my vision. In life, you do need a team. You know what I'm saying? But you need to wait until you got things in order and got things and have things flowing right so that that way you'll know the exact and the right team to put together because you will have made all of your little mistakes. You'll be able to tweet things. So you'll know as far as when you pick people, who is right for this, who is right for that. And you will know how to teach them how to do the certain things you need help in if they're willing to help, if they really, really and truly believe in you and, and got your back. You know? I remember... Oh, oh, yeah, let me talk about this. You know, um, sometimes people, if you don't be careful, you could bring bring people along or try to bring people along with you for your dream and vision, and they could stay straight jack you, jack you for all your ideas. They just, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Meanwhile, they, they put little notes in their in they, uh, cell phone. Mm-hmm, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. Yeah, they, they jacking. You jacking everything, everything that you're talking about to them, taking your ideas and taking your whole image and just trust me, y'all, I've had it. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. I've seen it all. I've experienced a whole lot. When you get into the business, um, yeah, it can be really vicious. And that's why I tell people that want to get in any type of business. Any type, rather be sports, rather be entertainment, anything, even corporate. You better be ready to swim with the sharks. Don't go in there on no guppy uh, whole attitude because you're going to get eaten up. And I know that's not how you say it. I'm saying it that way on purpose. You're going to get eaten up, okay? Don't go in there with no guppy, guppy mentality. You better go in there with a shark mentality because... People out here are vicious. They are serious about their money, <laughs> about getting money. And a lot of people have no conscience. They can sleep just as they sleep very well at night, knowing they did you dirty. Knowing they did you dirty. Trust me. <laughs> so, yeah, I just wanted to come on and, and um, oh, gosh, what do I call Sundays? <laughs> <laughs> I got to get used to my little titles I put out there, y'all. But it's uh, 33 minutes in, and um, I feel good to be back. Um, I do have that long little stretch after Wednesday, but I did that purposely because I, I really need that time because, you know, I'm, I'm working too. So, And then plus, I don't want to just bore y'all and just keep coming on and just maybe talk about the same thing. I doubt if I talk about the same thing. I might add some of the same things in the conversation, but I try my best to keep the topics, um, different. And if it's somewhat the same is because I felt in my spirit that I needed to, you know, expand on one of the topics I already talked about, you know? So I just wanted to talk. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I have one little short story for y'all real quick. So there was another situation where, Someone heard my music and um, they were writing a book. This is before I, I helped uh, a couple people with their book and before I helped um, my son get his book published and all of this. So this was some years ago. But 
someone um, heard my music and then another friend of mine, um, long story short, so they wanted me to um, put a CD together, um, like a soundtrack together for the book. And um, there was another friend of mine that was involved, but something happened. I don't know what I don't know what transpired or whatever between the. Um, I know, but I, I I wouldn't talk about that because that's a good friend of mine. Um, something transpired between the publisher and him, so then it was another producer needed. So there I go again, trying to bring another producer in, and this was a different producer after the other one, you know, well, kind of did the same thing. But this time I felt bad because, you know, we had worked hard for the artists. It was a lot of different artists that had to audition and everything that I auditioned. And I tried to look out for to put on this um, whole CD. And we got it done and everything. But at the end of the day, there he went, being underhanded. Trying to basically try to take one of the artists that I brought in to go in. This was some real deep stuff. I wrote a song, okay? I got somebody to sing it because y'all, I don't sing. I, I can write songs, but I don't do the singing part. <laughs> so I wrote this song, recorded this song, and I let him hear it. He went and took the other artist, speeded up the beat, made up a, a different tempo, and had lyrics basically it was the same lyrics but just you ever hear like you ever hear DJs take a slow song and then turn it into like a um like a uh what you call it not a club song but what, what they call the kind of house song yeah yeah it was kind of like that he took a he took my song was about was like a R&B type of ballad he took switched up the words a little bit same concept same everything had this girl sing the lyrics and turned it into more of a fast-paced beat, kind of like house music, and then let the publisher hear it behind my back. Again, thank God folk know me and know my spirit. She told me, she was like, if I didn't hear your song first, I would have thought that you was <laughs> copying off of him. But because I heard your song first, I kept on saying, wait a minute, that sound like... Well, my, my name was Liv, Living. They call me Living. That sound like Liv's song. And that's what saved the whole situation. But meanwhile, he screwed, then he tried to negotiate a different contract than what me and the publisher discovered for all the artists. Like, it's like, it's so deep. It's like you try to bring put people in and bring people with you, and they just sabotage the whole thing. And you trying to, out the kindness of your heart, you want everybody to eat, as they say. But some people just want to eat by themselves. Understand that. <laughs> some people don't want to have the, the family feast. Some people just want to eat right by themselves, okay? So I'm going to just leave y'all with that story. And mind you, I'm okay with both of the people but I don't care. It, it, it has to come out. They know what they did. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they hear it. They might be like, oh, I hope they don't do it again to nobody else. But nevertheless, I got love for them. I got love for, to be honest, I have love for everybody that did me dirty. Even the people that fell off to the wayside and I realized was opportunists. The people that tried to steal my little ideas and my lyrics or whatever. I have love for them all. At the time, I was just like, you know, of course, you hurt, you disappointed, all of that stuff. But I have learned, I've, I do not hold unforgiveness in my heart because that's a disease and it will cause dis-ease. Understand? Dis-ease. I don't need nothing to cause dis-ease in my body, okay, over some nonsense, over somebody else's selfishness and greed. So remember that, y'all. You know, people want to be people. Don't take it personal. That's something that that person got to work out for themselves. It's the reason why people are greedy. It's the reason why people want to jack your ideas, jack you, because they don't believe in themselves. If you got to steal somebody else's dreams and ideas and all of that, then obviously you don't believe enough in your own. So, you know, instead of, instead of being mad, just feel sorry for them. Say a prayer for them, you know. And that's what I've learned to do over the years. I'm I'm so good. I just let people go. I just be like, I wish you love and peace. 
and soul, brother. <laughs> that's how I live my life, and that's what keeps me young, vibrant, and very energetic, okay? I don't weigh myself down over the nonsense. So, I'm going to leave you guys today, and I hope that I picked a good um, topic today since I switched up at the last minute. But my time is running out, so I will see you guys tomorrow, and I will say 6.30. I'm going to go with 6.30 on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm going to change it because um on my thing, and I really think that the 6.30 deal will be good. Um, I really have been looking at my schedule, and I really want to be consistent for you guys because, you know, I want y'all to know that I got y'all. You know, y'all need to come here and hear some things to motivate y'all or some little um food for thought to make you kind of think I, I want to be here on time all the time okay so until tomorrow 6 30 eastern time p.m i will talk to y'all i love all of y'all and i pray that everybody enjoy the rest of your night your evening and just be grateful be grateful be grateful for where you are be happy for where you are and excited for where you're going because you are going somewhere and you are enough. Remember that. I love you guys. Peace. Thank you for listening to Chronicles of Living, where we talk to everyday people about everyday things in the past, present, and future. And if you are pursuing your dreams, I'm proud of you. Because the best part of life is when you decide to live. To keep up with us, please visit chroniclesofliving.com. Until next time, this is Adion, your dream pusher. I love you guys.